Here, I'd like to offer great topics I like to use for starting a conversation around identity management. While not questions per se, my goal is to arm you with tidbits to dive deep into business use cases or at the very least, provide a statement to gauge interest. Of course, where you take the conversation depends on your level of comfort and knowledge around identity topics. Apps are everywhere. Legacy ones on-prem and plenty in the cloud. All these entry points are hard for IT to support and a pain for users to access. A single portal for access to all apps can solve many business, operational, and security issues. The strongest passwords are still easy to compromise. Deploying MFA is by and far the best way to prove the identity of a user. With all the MFA technologies in use today, it is the perfect time to consolidate to a single MFA platform that can be deployed across all points of authentication. We live in a world of remote access and there has never been a greater usage of VPN. Those not securing these tunnels with MFA are missing the boat in a major way. I'm going to go so far as say it is an undisputable fact that VPNs need MFA. These three topics are about MFA and SSO. They are a foundation of security and usability. Privileged accounts like root or admin are literally the keys to the kingdom. These accounts are everywhere and are a pain to manage. A clear strategy to vault privileged credentials, automatically rotate them, and then isolate sessions is a hacker's nightmare. The CyberArk Blueprint provides a plan to keep attackers out. Malware can't work without access to local admin on endpoints. Limiting access to local admin across the entire user population lets users do their jobs and will stop malware dead in its tracks. Cloud transformation is awesome, but is only as secure as a password protecting access. As companies build out their cloud infrastructure, weaknesses around identity management quickly comes to light creating a clear plan to address all user types, including all the fancy APIs in the cloud, is important to provide secure and easy access, those creating a true hybrid strategy across both the cloud and on-prem infrastructure. These three topics cover MFA and SSO. However, the bigger conversation is around vaulting, lease privilege, and privilege account management. To me, the best part of IT is building solutions to work across different technologies. I'd like to finish off with a couple fantastic integrations CyberArk has with our C-Cubed Alliance partners. Palo Alto has a cool product called Cortex. It looks across the entire Palo Alto universe within a company to provide risk scores for locking down access as security risks arise. CyberArk can ingest these risk scores then provide real-time access decisions across the entire application environment. In the seconds and minutes that matter, access can be shut off or MFA applied to an app outside the realm of Palo Alto to stop the attack instantly. Proofpoint is a king of email and is a very popular technology to identify a very attacked person. CyberArk can take this information to the next level and start restricting access or applying MFA to the very attacked person. Maybe the user is a domain admin, and because of the level of importance, access to this account needs to be shut down immediately. Perhaps it's a frontline worker, where it's deemed appropriate to keep the account active, but a secure response would be best suited with MFA upon each new app login. Once a resolution is in place, Access policies can go back to normal. Rapid7 scans networks for vulnerability insight into security risks. To do these scans requires the use of privileged accounts. These should be stored in a vault and not on the scanner. This comes up in security audits all the time. The CyberArk and Rapid7 integration gets particularly interesting through automation. CyberArk can take newly found privileged accounts under management and apply risk-based access policies to admins logging into systems via insight gained from Rapid7. While Palo Alto, Proofpoint, and Rapid7 are some of my favorite integrations, make sure to check out the CyberArk C-Cubed Marketplace on our website. You'll find 130 plus integrations to learn about. Should any of these topics spark a deeper conversation, 
please make sure to reach out to one of my teammates or myself to help carry the discussion forward.